Hello everyone, welcome to Papri Connect. So in this video we will learn how to integrate GitHub and Trello. So our use case is pretty simple. When a new issue is added in GitHub, it will automatically create a card in Trello. Now GitHub is an awesome code hosting platform and Trello is an awesome list building application. So what we are going to do is, we are going to send the data from GitHub to Trello. But there is one minor problem. There is no integration between GitHub and Trello. So in cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Pabri Connect to integrate GitHub and Trello. And the best part of using Pabri Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com. Press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and at the bottom you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect. And then click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of this workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will immediately get the access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Here click on access now. Okay, so at the right top corner you will find a button create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as github to trello. Then click on create. So when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, let's make it as GitHub because we want to send the data from GitHub. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as issues? Now issues is basically a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new issue is made, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there are more triggers like issue comments, projects, releases, and so on. However, if you, in case if you don't find the trigger of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific trigger that you want to make. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new issue is made in GitHub. Okay, so just uh, click on connect with GitHub. Okay, so now Pabli Connect wants authorization. Just click on authorize Pabli. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Just click on OK. Now, uh, we have uh, some blanks called as the owner, repository, and the webhook URL. Now, in the owner, it is showing it as Pabli. This is because at present, uh, this account, okay, the account that I have opened is named as Pabli. Okay, the profile setting is named as Pabli. That is why it is uh, reflecting it as Pabli. Now, in the repository, we have... Uh, Pabli repo, Pabli connect repository, repository one, Skynet and Terminator. So in GitHub, I have uh, all of these repository that is Skynet repository, Terminator, Pabli connect repository, repository one. So basically all these repositories uh, present here is being reflected in this dropdown. So let me show you. Uh, how about I create a new repository? Okay. So the repository's name is uh, Gold AI. Okay. And uh, just click on create repository. Okay, so a repository called as Gold AI, and that means uh, Gold Artificial Intelligence has been created. So let's go to Public Connect and let me refresh this. Okay, so as you can see, we have a repository called as Gold AI. So I actually want to create an issue in this uh, Gold AI. Okay, okay, so basically what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to con connect this repository to Public Connect. So uh, let's uh, click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing that we have uh, connected Pabli Connect to this repository. Okay, so this is the repository that we have integrated with. So uh, how about we click on capture webhook response. Okay, so this means that anytime a new issue is created in this repository, Pabli Connect will capture the data. So let me go to this repository and uh, let me click on an issue. 
Okay, I'm going to create a new issue here. Okay, so the name of the program is uh, Python. Uh, Python, not debugging, something random. Okay, not debugging. Okay, so we will also write a description. Malfunction in libraries. Library. Okay, malfunction. Okay, function in library. Okay, Python not debugging, and this is a small description I have wrote. And click on submit a new issue. So a new issue called as Python not debugging has been made. So let's go to public connect to see whether it has captured this data or not. Okay, so the API response is showing. This is the title that is uh, Python not debugging, and we have uh, the rest of the details. Okay, let me show you in the body whether we have a Python library or something. Let me scroll down. Okay, so let me scroll down, scroll down. So yes. So where is our? Yes, this is the body. Okay, malfunction in the library. So we have got both the title as well as the description. Now we have to create a card in Trello. So to do that, just click on this plus button. So when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. So in this window, we are going to choose the app as Trello. Okay. Now in the action event, how about we make it as add new card, then click on connect with Trello. So in the new credentials, we have to fill in the three blanks, the username, API key and the token. So to get the username, API key and the token, just click on here. So this is the API key you want. Simply copy this and paste it here. Okay. Now coming to token and the username, just uh, click on token. Okay, so this is the username you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. Now coming to the token, scroll down and click on allow. So this is the token you want. Copy this and paste it here. Okay, so we have filled the username. We have got the IP, API key and uh, we have also uh, pasted our token. Just click on save. So when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of this uh, blank is we are going to sync in all the data that we have received from GitHub to create a card in Trello. For example, in choose board, it is showing it as alpha board. So let's expand this. So these are the boards it is showing. Okay, alpha board, Shopify, Sujata, Yellow, Testing, all of them. This is because, uh, let me go to boards and show you. These are the boards I have. So basically, all those boards present here is being reflected here. Okay, so at present, I am planning to sing all the details in this board. That is the yellow board. Okay, so I have a board called as the yellow board. So I'm planning to sync all the details in the yellow board. So I have kept it as yellow board. Now in the yellow board, there are uh, three lists. Okay, priority, high and low. So in the yellow board, we have uh, the priority, high and low. So I'm planning to uh, fill in the details in the priority. Okay, so now in the name of the card and the description of the card, we are going to map in the details. So this is uh, called as the mapping button. Click here. And in the name of the card, we are just going to uh, map in the title that is Python not debugging. And similarly in the description. Okay, so uh, library not working, malfunction in the library. Okay, this is the description. Then click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing the data has been sent to Trello. So let's have a look. Yes, uh, we have got the uh, card called as Python not debugging. And we also have the description malfunction in the library. Okay, so the presence of this card in Trello shows that we have successfully integrated GitHub and Trello with help of Pabli Connect. So how about we double check if the integration is working fine or not. But before that, let me go to Pabli Connect. And uh, bef let me show you the whole gist of the process. So I'm going to minimize my action window and then I'm going to minimize my trigger window. Okay, so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated GitHub to Pabli Connect and then you integrated Pabli Connect to Trello. So now there is a perfect flow of data between GitHub and Trello. Okay, so excellent. So how about we go to uh, GitHub and uh, let's make one more new issue. Okay, so the new issue this time is uh, AI has taken over the world, taken over the world. No antivirus. Okay, something random that's just popping in my head, that's all. 
Okay, so an issue called as AI has taken over the world has been made. So let's go to uh, Trello and let's see whether we have a card called as AI has taken over the world. Yes, we have a card called as AI has taken over the world. So our integration is working absolutely fine. This means anytime a new issue is created in GitHub, it will be reflected as a card in Trello. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.